So today we will be looking at the Platinum package. This one is obviously in the white exterior. The Platinum is Nissan's top model, okay? So there is four packages and this one is right at the top. It's gonna come fully loaded and I'm gonna go through all the interior and exterior features in a second. Obviously the exterior color on this one is white. Taking a look at the front of the 18 Pathfinder, we do have Nissan's LED low beam projector headlights. The LED fog lights are down below and we do have the nice chrome Nissan V-Motion grille. The very large Nissan symbol is in the middle and our forward facing camera is in the Nissan emblem. And what that is for is the added technology, the automatic forward emergency braking, which Nissan has put standard in all these Pathfinders. Exclusive to this Platinum package are the chrome side body moldings, which you can see are right below the door. Taking a look at the rear of the Nissan Pathfinder, we do have the LED tail lights. Our Platinum Pathfinder and four wheel drive badging are in between and our tow hitch is down below. The maximum towing capacity for this is 6,000 pounds. Right above our license plate cover is our backup camera, and that's gonna assist you when parking. It is a nice chrome trunk accent there. And then we do have the rear sensor, so that's for the sonar and also gonna assist in parking. And then we do have the nice chrome bumper accent right above our tow hitch. Checking out the rims, when you go up to this platinum package, you do get the 20 inch aluminum alloy rims. It's gonna come with the all season tires. Uh, a lot of standard safety features like the ABS braking and Nissan's electronic brake force distribution as well as the brake assist. Moving on to under the hood, this one is the 3.5 liter direct injection gasoline V6 engine. It's going to pump out about 284 horsepower and 259 pounds feet of torque. It is Nissan CVT transmission that they have in pretty much all their vehicles and it does use Nissan's direct injection system as well. It does have the 4x4 like I said at the start and then a few added features like your hill start assist and your hill descent control. It's going to come with the 5 year 100,000 powertrain warranty and 3 year 60,000 kilometer comprehensive warranty as well as 3 year roadside assistance. Fuel economy for this 4x4 four, four four package, we're looking at 8.9 liters per every 100 kilometers on the highway and 12.1 in the city. Taking a look at the key fob, it does come with our remote starter, our lock, our unlock, our trunk release and our panic button. So as I do in all my videos, we're going to use the remote start to start this puppy up. He just makes sure the car is locked and click and hold it there and there it starts up automatically. With the Nissan Intelligent Key, you also get the keyless entry. So there's a button right there on each door and you can just push that to lock and unlock the car. So the mirrors are heated outside mirrors and you can see this little indent right on the mirror. That's for the around view monitor. It's a 360 camera, which is gonna help you when parking and aids with the safety features that are included in this car. So now we're moving on to the interior of the Pathfinder and this is where the car is really something special. Being the fully loaded, you do get a ton of features which I'm gonna go through from top to bottom. And this one does have the nice gorgeous almond leather with the wood paneling all throughout. Moving on to the steering wheel. It is a leather wrapped steering wheel. And the steering wheel is included in that memory position as well. So it will sync with your two memory positions and it will adjust the seat as well as the wheel. Our radio controls, our Bluetooth controls are right to the left side of the wheel. And then we do have our cruise control right there. It is the Nissan Intelligent Cruise Control, so you can just set the car lengths um, that you want to stay behind the car in front of you and it will automatically accelerate and decelerate for you to stay behind uh, the car in front of you. 
below my left uh, knee there there's a few controls for our traction control our heated steering wheel our power lift gate which I can turn on and off blind spot monitoring I can turn on and off tow mode I can also turn on and off and for the power adapter I can turn on and off the main power there as well as the Ford emergency braking this one comes with the blind spot monitoring system so it's gonna light up on the LED indicator here if someone's in your blind spot and then if you go to change lanes it will give you an audio beep our vehicle information screen is in between our gauges here and it's going to show you some different things like your compass, your warnings, um, you can go through the settings, I can adjust my driving aids, um, blind spot monitoring system, things like that, emergency braking, it will have our trip computer, our tire pressure monitor, everything is included in the vehicle information screen, 4x4 mode, kilometers to empty, all the information you need right while you're driving. They didn't really change the gauges, our tachometer and our speedometer are pretty much the same. Beautiful wood paneling when I go up to this uh, platinum pathfinder. Um, it's all throughout the center console and there's the accents all throughout the interior. Gives it a nice high-end look, especially with this almond leather. So the nav screen is a little updated for 2018. A um, little bit bigger fonts on here. Here's our radio presets. It's not like the navigation that you see in the Murano or the Maxima. It seems like the Pathfinder's a little behind. But here I can use a touch screen. It flows seamlessly through all the... Um, all the apps there's not really any lag in the touch screen but I find in the Rogue and in the Maxima and Morano's the navigation and control is just a little bit better using the touch screen um, again there's a lot of knobs and buttons down below so I can use this knob to navigate the screen I can use the arrows very unnecessary when you have such a large touch screen that flows seamlessly but this is the radio and then we do have our Navi so I can input my street address, points of interest, our map, you can do things like pinch to zoom, um, use the touch screen and it's going to show up right there once you put in an address. And then our climate controls are also down below. I can control the rear temperature right from uh, the dash here so I can keep the kids warm and I can control their temperatures as well. Fuel economy, there's a few different buttons down here. Fuel economy, settings, info is more of the car's info. Um, status will, is kind of your main home screen right there. And then our Bluetooth and brightness buttons are there as well. As I go down, again, it just repeats itself. The radio controls are here. Uh, if you don't want to use the touch screen, you do have the hard buttons for your six presets. Your DVD insert and CD insert is there as well. And then if you don't want to use the touch screen for the heating, the heating is also there as well. So it's Nissan's dual climate control. I just need to push it in the automatic mode. And we're going to hear the fans automatically come on in a second here. An exclusive to this Platinum feature is the climate controlled seats. So not only are they heated, but they're also air conditioned for the front and uh, passenger seat. Our 4x4 shifter mode is right below our gear shifter here, as you can see. And then I can keep it in two wheel drives, I can have it in the auto mode, or I can lock it in the 4x4. Our hill descent control is right in the middle of the knob there as well. So what people love about the Pathfinder is the versatility. Tons of space, tons of passenger volume, tons of cargo volume, and this being the Platinum, you do get the DVD entertainment systems with Nissan's Tri-Zone Entertainment. Very easy to use. Our zero gravity seats are in the first, two, first row here, and the first seats are heated as well. So in this Platinum model, this is the only Pathfinder that comes with the DVD player and Tri-Zone Entertainment System. You don't really need to play DVDs because down below it does have our inputs there for HDMI, USB, and then I have my heated seat controls. I can charge my cell phones. There's also a plug-in. So if I want to plug in my Xbox or anything like that, I can plug it in 
just to the HDMI and then there's the power outlet great for road trips and I can also control the heating back here with the controls um, so your passengers should be very comfortable should have everything they need for a long trip perfect for every family just to let a lot more light in the car makes the car feel bigger there is this massive sunroof in the back so you get the one in the front and then your passengers have this moon roof that goes all the way to the back of the car lots of cup holder space and there's some phone storage in the center console for the rear it's very easy to get into the back i just need to pull the knob up there and the seats pull up and i slide it forward and then i can access the rear seat this one is the bose audio being the high um, entertainment sound system so you got that subwoofer which is hidden away in the back the seats fold down very easily if I want to add some cargo space I can fold them down and then there you can see there's a ton of trunk space perfect for whatever you need lots of storage you can pop them back up just by pulling the handles there And then I'm back to the seven passenger mode. Okay, so thank you very much for watching another video. Again, my name is Christopher. If you have any questions about the 2018 Nissan Pathfinder, do not hesitate to ask me in the comment section below. Have a great day.